Good morning. I think my eyes are kind of puffy. I feel kind of swollen. Anyway, I slept pretty good last night. It's one of those mornings, like almost every morning, that everything is just kind of slightly damp, just from the, the moisture in the air. Nothing's wet, just slightly damp and clammy. Anyway, we're gonna get packed up and then get to walking because we only got 12 miles today and then shower, laundry, milkshake, restaurant food, and all the good stuff. It's 7 a.m. I've been hiking for, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes. And, you know, just thinking, we've had those few good views, but for the most part, the Shenandoahs are the complete green tunnel. You can't see much. One of the worst things, I think, is something I never even thought about before. There's so much greenery all the way up to the edges of the trail. There's nowhere even to sit. Like if you want to take a break, it's hard to find a place because the greenery is typically full of, you know, itchy stuff and biting stuff like ticks and chiggers and poison ivy. So that's that. It's like, just keep on walking. The other thing I think I'm just right at or maybe a skosh over halfway through with the shanties and I have yet to see one bear. Um, Puffer and 2x4 said they have not seen any bears either. But there's a lot of times where I see like a black um, tree stump or a log, especially in the earlier morning hours, that looks like it could be a bear. And I stop and I watch and realize it's a tree. So I'm still hoping to see at least one bear in the Shenandoahs. Got a couple days left though, so I think I got after today probably two big days or two days in a half day. I'm not real sure what I'm going to do yet. I'd kind of like to do like a 21, a 24, and then that'll put me like three miles from Front Royal. Do the three miles in, go to town, shower, laundry, resupply, and get back out on the trail that same day. And then not take a get a hotel or take a break, maybe even zero, until Harper's Ferry. I'm not sure. I'm just going to wait and see how my body feels. But <clears throat> I'd like to get as many miles as I can. Just so much stuff coming up with Harper's Ferry, the ATC there. Get your picture taken. Got the halfway point. Got the half gallon challenge. And then my family's coming in. I think I'll see them two weeks from today, actually. Because I think today's Monday, Memorial Day. And I should see them on June 13th, I believe. All right. Well, if I see anything more than greenery, I'll show you. It's about 9.30 in the morning. Not much going on. Just cruising on this uh, trail that looks just like this. There's been some ups and downs, but nothing bad. First couple hours this morning were nice and quiet in the woods. And now that it's getting, you know, after breakfast and they're getting up and going. The day hikers are starting to come out in force around some of the lots, the parking lots that is. Got about five miles to go, a little over five maybe, to the wayside where I'm gonna have lunch and hopefully the blackberry milkshakes that are, that are famous. So, fingers crossed they're doing it. There's been a bunch of rumors, like they're only doing it certain hours of the day and all kinds of stuff, so. I was looking ahead, because there's some people backpacking right ahead of me. I almost stepped on this guy. Come on, dude, you gotta get going, I gotta go. Okay, if you can see just over that horizontal limb on the left side, there's a bear cub.
Okay, here you can see the cub. Oh, they just moved again. They're wrestling around. You see them right there. We go. There's, there's bears right here. There's bears. They're playing like crazy. Look at them wrestling those two cubs. I'm getting good video of it too. <laughs> Guess what? Just saw some bears. Hopefully we see more. Okay, it's 11.30. Off the AT. Been been taking side routes here looking for the wayside so we can eat restaurant food and have milkshakes I got my blackberry shake lunch breaks over got all resupplied we had to come back to the AT and now we have like 0.9 miles to go and we get to the campground and lodge where hopefully we're going to get a campsite, shower, laundry, and all the things. And then go to the lodge because they have a tap room. The deer definitely aren't too afraid around here, are they? All right, so we got cleaned, we got laundered, we got all the, all the chores done, and now we're hanging out at a tap room, and we're waiting until the restaurant opens at uh, five o'clock, and maybe about that time now, to go eat dinner. Well, let me show you this uh, dessert somebody has here. How many spoons you got there? Three. Three? How many are you using? Get one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do I know nobody's that? Gonna, spoons. Nobody's slow gonna down. steal it, just slow down a second. It looks good, but I'm holding out for the meatloaf upstairs. What is with you guys a meatloaf? Meatloaf is good and we didn't get any at, at uh, Damascus. I don't understand meatloaf. It looks Check scary. this out. That's a mango beer. Just going on a little tour here. This isn't open, but it's a neat little room they've got down here. So the tap room is at the other end of this hall. This is a pretty neat old building with a like stone basement. So the tap room's down that way, and we're gonna go to the restaurant, which is back upstairs. Up there. This is the great room of the lodge. It's a really neat, neat room. I've had dinner. I had apple dumpling with ice cream and caramel sauce for dessert. It's still daylight. I think it's about 6.30 or so. Just sitting out here outside of the lodge. Of course, we're not staying in the lodge. We're staying at a campsite in our tents just down the way there. Anyway, it's been a pretty, pretty relaxing day. Got a lot done. Got the laundry done, the shower done. Got a bunch of food and all that. So, got resupply as well as eating all day so gonna do i think 18 or 19 tomorrow and then maybe 24 the next day we'll have to wait and see anyway i'm gonna probably go ahead and close this out unless something else happens i want to show you later so i'm gonna let you know let you go here and tell you good night i'll see you on the morning i'm back one more time it's a beautiful evening just walked up to the bathrooms here at the campground I filled up my water bottle so I can leave tomorrow with two full liters, brush my teeth, 
and heading back over here to the campsite. It's a really nice place. So there's seven sites over here. They're like a walk-in area for hikers. There's still 30 bucks, but apparently you can put up to six people on there. We only have three and two tents on this one, but. Good morning. Sitting here at this picnic table. It's so nice to have a picnic table in the morning. It doesn't happen very often. I don't know if you can hear me over the stove, but I'm making some coffee and have some breakfast. Already pretty much all packed up um, other than my food bag. So I'm gonna have some coffee and breakfast and get to walking. It's probably, I don't even know what time it is, probably like 5.30, 5.40, maybe 5.45. Still pretty early. So I'm looking forward to getting on the trail. We got about 19 miles on today. And once again, I don't think there's any huge milestones or anything or, or points of interest. It's just walking through the tunnels of the Shenandoahs. I hope though, I've heard this, the northern half has some more views. So hoping for that. Anyway, I'll get back to you as I get to hiking. Have a good one. Heading back to the trail. It was, we had to walk across this campground. We weren't really sure where we were going. I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way. I think the trail's just right over there. You pick up a side trail that takes us down to the AT. This is a really pretty campground though. Got all the chores done, great night, lots of good food. The food was kind of pricey, but the campground was 30 bucks for the site, so we split that. So for 15 bucks, get a good nice place to stay with nice clean bathrooms and all. There were several deer like right in our campsite and all around. Saw those cool couple bears yesterday, but mostly the shanties just seem to be full of deer. I am looking forward to possibly seeing some more bears. Speaking of those deer, Here's one right here. I'm maybe 10 or 12, 12 feet from it. I've been hiking for about a mile or a little over a mile maybe. And the woods here has been this big open path and just wide open beautiful woods compared to the waist high greenery up to the edges of the trail on both sides this has been like a very glorious nice meandering morning so far one thing i don't think i mentioned earlier yesterday the high was like in the upper 80s and today and tomorrow now at least as of two days ago i haven't had good cell service to check however today i think the high is like 93 and 94 tomorrow, so it's two hot days. And then it looks like the highs are gonna be upper 70s or around 80 degrees and no rain for maybe 10 days. So that's really hope, really hope that holds true. Um, anyway, I saw a couple deer since getting on the trail. I haven't seen any other bears or wildlife yet, but you can tell it's gonna be a hot one. This morning, there was no dew or anything on the ground, even though I tented kind of in the edge of the grass. Everything's just kind of dry. And as the sun's coming up, you could tell it's gonna be a hot day. Right now, it's still pleasant, but I don't know how long that's gonna last. And one other correction earlier, when I said that it was about 5.45 when I was sitting at the picnic table, it was actually 6.15. Time got away from me somewhere in the, in the morning. But it's just a little, it's, I don't know what time it is now. It's 7, 7.30 probably. And um, I'm just going to keep cruising along here in this beautiful woods and big open path. And hope it stays like this all day. Just off in rocky outcropping just off the trail. Check this view out. I'm on this cliff here, and the view is big. 
little bit different angle of that same view. We've gone about another quarter mile up trail this time. There's something I want to talk about this morning. You know, you, you hear about the Virginia Blues. And I thought, no way I'm getting the Virginia Blues. I loved Virginia. I still love Virginia. But I'm starting to understand. The last few days have kind of just been like, ugh. More of the same. The trail looks the same. It's not, I mean, it's nice that it's easy, but it's just like the same thing all day long. Your feet are pounding the ground for 10 or 12 hours a day. And the terrain hasn't seemed to change. At this point, we've been in Virginia for 500 miles almost. And just to recap, Virginia is over a quarter of the AT. It's like 550 something miles. We're getting close to the end of Virginia. But man, there's been no, no state line crossings. We had the, 100, the 900 mile the other day, but it's just been a lot of the same thing. And we're getting close to a lot of cool things, but I definitely have been like a little more, ugh, this again, just the same thing. So I do want to say thank you. I feel other than the, maybe it's just a fresh set of eyes that I think the trail is just different and nice this morning. Um, but I got some trail magic from home last night and I got a really nice message and some monetary trail magic. Um, thank you so much, Kawanda. Your message was nice. It was really good to know that you guys are all following along and I'm not spending all the time making these videos and editing them and just trying to find internet to upload them, uh, for no reason. Thank you very much. It was a huge lift to the spirits. I think I already know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to need a zero here in the next week, a couple days or a week. And I'm going to need some rest. Also, my grandma, thank you very much. She sent me some trail magic as well. And she got on to me. I talked to her last night. She said that I mentioned before that she was nagging for this t-shirt. And people were giving her trouble for nagging for the t-shirt. So to set the record straight, yes, you're always nagging for a t-shirt. But I love you anyway. Maybe I'll even get you another one. All right. Um, thank you both for the, the picking up the spirits. It was very much needed. I'm ready to get out of Virginia, but I still have a couple more days in Virginia. So thank you very much. I'll let you know what it goes to here in the next week or so. All right. I'm going to get to walking. That rocks go up as far as I can see. Hopefully there's no rock slide when I go through here. Just wanted to show you this because the trail looks different than it has for a while. The day keeps getting better and better. I got a couple more cool, cool views. That trail I just showed a few, a few minutes ago that was just really rocky. Just something different to mix it up from what we've seen so much. And then this morning, I got to a mountain top and turned my phone on. I had a message that my other grandma sent me some trail magic. So thank you so much as well. Even though you didn't hound me for a shirt. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble from that one, for that one, I know. Um, let's see. Also, I looked at YouTube when I had service. And I hit 700 subscribers this morning. I need a thousand. But anyway, 700 subscribers. That's really cool. Um, then I just also got, I turned my phone on again at that rock slide area. And I had a really cool message from my good buddy, Mark. Thank you for the graphic illustrating my progress. It was pretty cool. Today has just been a much needed between last night and today, it was a much needed pick me up. Because, like I said, I'm not saying I got the Virginia Blues, but I was sure starting to know what they felt like. <laughs> anyway, so this morning I'm feeling on top of the world. Everything's going great. And one other thing several people have reached out about how to do virtual trail magic. And I just want to be clear um, while I really appreciate it. I'm not asking for anything. I saved more than enough money on prior to the hike to fully fund my own hike. Um, I don't I don't need the the trail magic to continue the videos or to continue the hike or anything like that. That's all happening regardless. 
Um, but it means so much more than anything just to know that my family and friends and a lot of people I don't even know are following along in this journey with me. And even though you're not here with me, emotionally it, it does a lot. One thing I hear that, um, try not to cry now, the the trail will strip your, strip your inhibitions, I guess, for emotion away from you. The trail just builds you down or knocks you down and builds you back up and knocks you down. And it can be an emotional place. You feel things you normally don't feel. And um, I guess that's a lot of what the trail is for me, but just knowing so many people at home care about what I'm doing and are supportive, it means a lot. So thank you all very much. I'm on a road, not the AT. Uh, I've done about eight miles, and I think it's just now like 10 o'clock. And there's a restaurant or wayside. I think it's only a couple hundred yards from trail. And you know, I'm kind of craving a Gatorade, and I thought I'd just break up the day a little more and take an un unplanned or unexpected break and maybe get a Gatorade, just because today has been so wonderful. Let's just keep the wonderful rolling. Awesome little area here at Skyland Resort. Had some snacks. I guess first lunch, technically. Back to the trail. Are you If you drink the green water, I'll put it on YouTube. That almost looks like a blaze going down there. What do you think? Maybe. I don't think I'm going to go find out. That's a really nice little reflection pool over there. Okay, just had a long break over there at the pavilion. Had to walk back to where I got off the AT. So my footsteps are connected. Now it is time to start walking north. So the trail goes right here on this path that I'm on through the parking lot. We only got 6.8 miles to the shelter to give us about 19 for the day. This is the first of the shelters in the Shenandoahs that I've actually seen. Because most have been off trail aways and I haven't had a need to go to them. It's pretty nice. Made of stone. It's even got a name on here called Bird's Nest Number 3. Bird with a Y, that is. And this one. It looks like there's an old fire pit that's no longer working or a grill. A water fountain that's no longer functional. A bear box and a little bit of spots for tenting. But this one is right on the trail. Here it is from the back. It's got a metal roof. Nice. Had a pretty good day today. Had a couple good breaks. Um, had a great morning. Today has just been a really good day altogether. Did almost 19 miles. It got really hot this afternoon, but eh, it wasn't too bad. Camp's all set up. They've got a bear pole right by our tent. And... Um, it's going to be a good night. I'm going to go cook some dinner and eat and then call it a day. So have a good night and come back for the next video because next video we're going to be doing hopefully 24 miles tomorrow and then going into Front Royal the next morning. All right. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell all your friends to subscribe too.